Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about my experience using Metanorma, ASCII Doctor and Markdown for writing my graduation thesis. If you write your graduation thesis and you have to print it out in PDF, I can as of today, 2019 December, not recommend using any of those if you have to put out in PDF. If your output format is HTML, then maybe ASCII Doctor is the way to go for you. Small background. I spent the last about four days trying to get all that stuff to work with uh, cross-references, uh, bibliography, um, captions, and whatever, line breaks. And then why not Word, why not LibreOffice Writer? The problem is that if you use one of them and the other one uses a different one, for example, your teacher or your colleagues, then you're flawed. I use LibreWriter, Writer, but no nobody else uses it, so I'm flawed if they, this, the format does, just doesn't work. It doesn't exchange. So I needed a text format. Okay, so why not LaTeX then? It's the perfect one, right? LaTeX problem is that it does not offer every functionality from the start and that's make, that makes it very complicated. For me, I'm writing in Japanese and LaTeX is not capable of writing Japanese letters per standard installation. So you need to find, first off, you need to find, that's the point, you need to find packages that support Japanese and then you have, I don't know, a huge installing package. I think it was one gigabyte or something. And then you're still not sure if it's working. So it's kind of like a frickling and I don't like that. It should work like right after installation. So that's no option for me. Then I tried Markdown. Has a very, very nice syntax. I really like Markdown. It really focuses on the content, but it does not offer something like cross-references, not in Markdown language, no cross-references no bibliography, and worse, to no PDF conversion, no proper one. You can make cross-references and all that stuff in Markdown if you just uh, insert HTML, which is pretty nice, but you still have this PDF problem, and there you're stuck. So I used ASCII Doctor, which is pretty nice. You almost have all that functionality. A bibliography is kind of a frickling, but you can get it to work. You have much more syntax, so there's much more syntax lying around within the content, which is kind of hard to read. But at least for HTML, you get a really nice result. So you can really, you can do anything that is possible with CSS, right? But here's the big problem, you cannot use it for PDF. I know there's ASCII Doctor PDF, but for me, it didn't work when I tried to make a table. And it didn't write Japanese characters. I just get the boxes, right? So that that's a problem, it doesn't work. So I tried Metanorma and that, that is what you actually see here. I just installed it and uh, tried the same test file for my graduation thesis and I don't know, I have this error here. So it doesn't work right off the hook. So I can also not recommend Metanorma. What about the other flavors of Markdown? You have book down, you have thesis down, you have this down, that down. The problem with all these things is they are not kind of, in, in no way they are any kind of standard. They are just small projects from programmers that put their stuff on GitHub, but there's no real installation image. I would at least for Linux expect an installation file within the repositories, but that's not the case. That means that in any point, at any point in time, the project could stop. At any point in time, the syntax can radically change and it's not really nice to like install it. And if you have like 10 flavors and you're not sure which one of the flavors will work, then you have to spend, I don't know, maybe one or two hours per flavor to just try it and then see, ah, oh, it didn't work for me. So I think this is still an area that's developing. So maybe in two years or three years, maybe that's good. But at the moment, I think all the flavors are not easily to use. So this is like in a kind of beta statement, in a kind of beta state, not statement. Okay, once again, to summarize, I would definitely not recommend using any of these things if you write your graduation thesis. What I do myself is I wrote everything down in Markdown. I will do the check stuff, everything, and at the final end, when everybody said my content is okay, I will have to do the tedious work of copy and pasting it to LibreOffice Writer or maybe even Word, and then print it out as PDF. If you have any questions, if you disagree, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.